Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Christmas time. You know that time of year that's all about joy, peace on earth, love, compassion and... Animal exploitation. Mm. And we're not just talking about the animals that we exploit for food, we're also no. talking about those that we exploit for entertainment. Yes, and this is why veganism is not a diet. It's not just about the animals that we eat, it's about the use of animals in all facets of our lives, including entertainment. That's right, and here at the Brisbane Christmas Parade, which is sponsored by David Jones, one of the largest retail stores here in Australia, they are exploiting camels, reindeer, sheep and donkeys. And they're exploiting them by using them for people's entertainment by having these live animals in the Christmas parade. And just to give you guys an idea, we were here last night, this parade is massive. We're talking literally thousands, thousands of people. It's insane. It's like a rock concert for kids, you know, they, they're just going crazy. <laughs> Clapping, screaming, cheering, it's full on. And so all these animals are used for people's entertainment in this parade. So the purpose of animal rights activists here this evening is not to stop the parade, but rather to disrupt the parade, to bring awareness to the fact that using animals for our entertainment is not okay. No, and this parade goes for nine nights in total. So it's not just a one-off, it happens every year for nine nights. And part of the disruption is aimed at educating the public who attend this event to know that using animals for entertainment is not okay. That's right, letting the public and the sponsors know that all use is exploitation. All exploitation is abuse, and all abuse is morally wrong. What was your favorite part? The reindeers. The reindeers? The reindeers, I enjoyed the most. <laughs> I liked the um, reindeer. You liked the reindeer? They were really cute, yeah. Yeah? So they were cute, is that what yeah. you liked about them? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did you notice that they were reindeer pulling yes, the sleigh? Yes, there was reindeers, yes. Yeah. They were very good. That, you, you think they were good? It was very good, yes. What, what was good about that? Oh, they were real deers, I suppose, for a start. Yeah, so it was authentic? Yeah, it was authentic. Yeah, yes. yeah. Now these animals are slaves essentially because they're owned by their slave owners as property under the law just as human slaves once were and they are forced against their will to do things that they don't want to do. Yeah. Um, they're doing things that don't come naturally to them. That's exactly and we know this because they have harnesses and handlers and if they were attending these events willingly they wouldn't need harnesses or handlers. Exactly and for us this is no different to a circus or a marine park or you know we all know 
SeaWorld sucks. Exactly. This is the same thing. You're still being entertained by animals. They're being trained to perform in a certain way. And the same goes for elephant, camel, donkey, horse riding. Yep. It's all the same. And if you don't think these animals are slaves, simply replace the animals with humans. Imagine yourself chained up, you're owned by somebody, you're somebody's property, and you're trained and forced to do something that you wouldn't want to do. Now the reindeer oh. are prey animals. Yeah. That is, they're typically preyed on by carnivorous animals. Their natural instinct is yeah. to run and escape danger. Yeah, and they that, want to hide. They're very right. timid they, and they're very, very sensitive animals. Exactly. They like to keep a lot of distance between them and yeah. others. They're and very startled, easily startled. Any noise, any any sudden movements and they're off. That's and right. And we recall this from our own personal experience yes. when we spent time in Montana about 10 years ago. There were deer on the property that we were staying at and if we made any subtle noise inside the house, we could see the deer would scatter. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> that's just incredible for us to experience and then see these animals here in the city. With the lights, with the noise, with the all of it. It's yeah. just the exact opposite to the environment that they naturally and normally want to be in. And extremely stressful for them. Very stressful. <laughs> And an animal behaviour expert has expressed concerns over the use of deer in the parade and has written a letter with more details. Do you think that being in the city is a good place for the reindeers? Probably not, but they didn't look too stressed. Right, so that was good. Yeah. How do you think the reindeer felt? Um, I don't know, probably, probably, I don't know, probably sad. Yeah, it depends. It, it depends. It, what does yeah. it depend on? Well, if they're like kept in cages or if they're like nice to them or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's how they treat them. So, it's how they treat them? Yeah. Okay. So what if you were a reindeer? Let's just pretend for a second, right? Okay. Your natural environment is to be out in the wild yeah. with your family and you're a prey animal, which means that other animals try to eat you. I'm sorry. But that's, yeah. that's what happens to a reindeer. Yeah. So you're very sensitive. So any noises that you hear, any sudden movements, your instinct is to run really, really fast to protect yourself because you don't yeah. want to be eaten, right? Yeah. So then what if I treated you really nice, but I took you out of your home, I treated you really nice, but then I took you to a city away from your family and I put you in a really, really noisy environment with lots of lights and lots of people. You think it'll stress you out a little bit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would. Yeah. 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 Do you think you would prefer to be in the wild with your family eating grass? Yeah, definitely. Do you think the reindeer are cute anymore? Oh, they're so cute, but I feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah. So now that we know so much more about deer and their natural behaviour, it really got us thinking and questioning how on earth did these people train these animals to perform under these circumstances in the city with all the lights and noise and everything we've just described. Yeah, for example in circuses sometimes they're even drugged, you know we can only speculate but based on uh, other uses of animals for our entertainment and the practices that they involve. It ain't pretty. And what's super interesting is that we did a quick Google search and we found an article from this deer company um, in the paper a couple of years ago back in 2015 and the actual owner, the owner said himself that these animals want to kill you for the majority of the year but you know they're always okay, they're, they're well behaved come Christmas time as if the animals know that during this eight week period of Christmas festivities they've got to put on a, a good show and you know be happy and willing to go to um, shopping centres and, and street parades. parades, you know, they don't know that it's Christmas, so if these animals want to kill you for the majority of the year, then how do you guys get them to be willing participants in a Christmas parade? <laughs> So this is a public safety issue as well because yeah. these animals are chained and they restrain very strongly because they are strong animals and they're unpredictable. You can never control an animal 100% of the time yeah. and you've got small children in close proximity to these animals and in an unpredictable movement by the animal a child could very easily get hurt. Yeah, anything can happen. In fact, you can see this footage where the deer owner uh, 
purposefully, basically purposefully walked the reindeer too close to a, a vegan activist and you can see how startled the deer was and its sudden movements. Now imagine if there was a small child there. It's incredibly irresponsible to have these animals and children in this situation. There have also been several instances of assault by the deer slave owners against vegan activists. In one case, an activist was taking a photo of the deer through a, a gap in the trailer with her phone. This is totally legal. And her arm was grabbed and pulled through the trailer. She came smashing into it. I mean... She could have broken her nose, her teeth. She, she could, could have, have dislocated her shoulder. It was extremely violent action. And her phone was taken off her inside the trailer. Police were standing right there. They, they did nothing. She did get her phone back but that could have caused some serious physical damage and in another instance a handler poked a metal rod at a vegan activist towards her throat it hit her throat and actually twice. made her con made yep. contact with her throat twice that's right and uh, knocked the, her phone out of her hand as well and only missed her face because another activist pushed her out of the way Oi, that's dangerous man you could have poked my eye out poking with a rod I mean, this is this severely is a violent behaviour. So I can't believe So they're doing this towards it. women. You can imagine what they could be doing towards the animals. That's if right. This is the level of respect they have for women. In fact, it was interesting because when the incident of the rod being poked in the activist's face was brought to the attention of the female slave owner, um, her reaction was to laugh and say, "Fair game." That's the attitude. Incredible. To encourage violence like what? that. Do you encourage your employees to be violent like that? Be violent? Yeah. What have they done? They just poked a rod at us. They poked a, what? a rod. A rod, a metal rod. At you? Yeah. Oh well. Fair game. Fair game. Get out. He's poking with a rod. Oh well. Fair game. In addition to everything else that we've been saying, there are two more issues that we'd like to talk about. There's the welfare and then there's the use of the animals. So with respect to the welfare, these deer are being kept in trailers for long periods of time. There are also two males that are kept together in close proximity when typically in the wild they would live solitary lives. Yeah, they don't like being very close to each other, especially two males. So that's going to cause them a great deal of stress. Yes. Now we don't know if they have food and water in that trailer. Who knows what the conditions are in there, it's all blocked off, so... But the fact that they're left in there for such a long period of time before the parade begins... Uh. And yet, even if the welfare of these deers was absolutely impeccable, it's the use that is the issue. That's right. Because, as we said before, all use is exploitation. All exploitation is abuse and all abuse is morally wrong. Yeah, there's no way to use an animal for entertainment that, you know, it, they don't want to do it. They weren't... Hence the harnesses, hence the handlers. Yeah. And this brings us to the topic of speciesism. We humans think that just because we can dominate other animals that it's okay to do that. That we are somehow superior. And we're not. And this is what we're teaching to the younger generation. And the problem is that speciesism is the purest form of evil. It is the root cause of all other discriminations like racism, sexism, ableism, all of the isms. So if we're teaching our children the purest form, speciesism, then there's no wonder that they can grow up and discriminate against other people. So we really have to ask ourselves, do we want the next generation, our children, to learn that it's okay to use animals any way we want, just for our entertainment, force them to do things that are totally unnatural for them, very stressful, that cause them pain and suffering. Is it okay to do that just for our entertainment? Is that the message we want to send to the next generation? Have you ever um, seen deer in the wild or? No. No. Have you seen them on documentaries? Yes. Yeah. 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 And what, how would, like, how do they behave in the wild? Is there anything that stood out for you when you watch those documentaries? Ah, yes. Well, they used really just free more than anything here. Yeah. 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 And so when you saw the deer tonight, because um, they're, they're in a city, yeah. surrounded by noise people. and lights and people. What did you think of that? Did you think it was natural for the deer to be in that environment? Uh, 
I hadn't really taken a lot of notice of that, to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah. And we totally understand that most people aren't aware of this. We too once thought that animals were here for our entertainment mm -hmm. and we attended marine parks and rode elephants and horses and donkeys and went to circuses and zoos. Yeah, we did it all because we just didn't know and we just didn't understand. And that's why this disruption of the parade is so important so we can educate the public, bring them some awareness that animals are not here for our use and they're certainly not here for our entertainment. Have you been to a circus before? No, I don't really like circuses. Why not? Why is that? I don't know, I don't like the animals being contained. Um, yeah, I'm not a big one for seeing animals on show, although I have now said that I like the rain. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting how we use wild animals for entertainment, isn't it, when we don't need to. Do you ever think about that? Um, yeah, I do, but yeah. But you have really put it into effect, yeah. but yeah. It yeah. is interesting. And also bring it to the awareness of the sponsors who are paying for this animal abuse and exploitation. This is the key message here. We understand that this parade is a business. You know, this is about sponsors putting out a good uh, message, a good image, and they want people to enjoy the event and associate their brand with the event. So right now, the sponsors, David Jones and George Bank, Brisbane City Council and others, their brands are being associated with animal slavery, exploitation and abuse. Not a good image from a PR standpoint. And they're also being associated with the assault of women from this deer owning company. So obviously. Again, something that you don't really want your brand to be associated with. Yeah, yeah David Jones are forcing um, animals into the parade that's watching it. Really? Yeah, these animals are really stressed and watched um, when we're going in here. And um, David Jones just came for the whole thing. You're doing a good job, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate yeah, that. That yeah. means a lot to me. Thank yeah. you. No deer in the parade next year. Yeah, I love it. No, I oh, okay. David Jones, stop exploiting animals. David Jones sponsors Vegan. So to the sponsors, you guys are very, very powerful. You're in a great position and you can make this whole thing stop. All you have to do is say that you will not sponsor the parade next year and the following years if animals are going to be used. So I'd like to let you know who all our wonderful sponsors are and then we're going to give them one really big cheer and let them know how much we love all these events and then we'd love to do it again next year. Alright, a big thank you to David Jones, Gold Lotto, St George Bank, Eat South Bank, Brisbane City Council and Brisbane Marketing. Alright, mums and dads, girls and boys, let's give them one big cheer! Would you still be happy with the parade that didn't involve animals? Yeah, I'm not concerned if the animals weren't here. Do you think that we can still have fun at a parade like this and still be entertained without using animals? Yeah, yeah definitely. Just yeah. costumes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dancing, singing, yeah. Yeah. bands. So yeah. we have teddy bear costumes, so why not reindeer costumes? That's exactly. a great idea. And to the deer slave owners, if you don't like this video, well, in your own words, fair game. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the resources that we'll link in the description box below this video and we're also going to list the sponsors. Please share this video with them. We really want them to see this message. And remember until next time guys that going vegan, which means not using animals for food, clothing, entertainment or any other purpose, is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Let's have a Christmas without the exploitation. See you next video. Bye guys.